Well, remember this video here? A local man confronts a panhandler near McDill Air Force Base about his military clothes and awards. Military veteran Garrett Goodwin questioned that guy until he admitted he was never really in the service. That video going viral. And tonight, it's happened again. The accused man getting arrested for the crime. ABC Action News I-Team investigator Jared Holbrook has the very latest story of stolen valor. From a Navy uniform to Hillsborough County prison garb. All because sheriff's deputies tell us this man in a Navy uniform, 54-year-old Freemain Brown, was scamming people. Um, it actually seemed pretty legitimate. Jamin Travis is the assistant general manager at Wawa on Bear Sav. He says Brown walked in with his uniform, claiming he was a Navy SEAL for SEAL Team 6. He opened up all these, you know, various forms of identification. Travis tells us Brown wanted to ask people for money to help veterans. Travis told him to do it on the sidewalk off their property, so he did. Someone noticed his ribbons and medals weren't in compliance with Navy regulation, and his name tag was covered by tape. Deputies say Brown claimed to be a commander and was wearing prestigious medals like the Navy Cross and Silver Star, even the Navy SEAL's sacred trident pen. They arrested him at his nearby home. Someone there tells us he's still in jail. What's your reaction to the arrest? Well, no, I don't know anything about that. I just found out right now we're handling some situations right now, okay? okay? Any idea why he may have... Nothing more to say here, but plenty had something to say at the Wawa store. For somebody to do something like that, it's it's completely wrong. I mean, they got actual people out there that do go out and put their lives on the line to do stuff and be able to provide for our freedom. And for someone to lie like that is just a, it's irresponsible and ridiculous. This real Navy veteran isn't happy, but understands. Stolen valor, it's, it's not cool, but, you know. Your heart's got to go out to the people who are just trying to make it. Deputies say Brown admitted he bought the uniform at a military surplus store. Now, due to the fact Brown has never served in the military, he faces a felony charge of unlawful use of uniforms, medals, or insignia. We've learned he's been evicted about three times in recent years, but doesn't appear to have a criminal background. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you.